The mission of Birdbrain Technologies is to inspire deep and joyful learning for all students, and we do that through creative robotics. By deep and joyful, what we mean are the kinds of learning experiences that stick with you, that you remember 10 years from now. And creative robotics is our tool, our way of catalyzing those learning experiences. BirdBrain creates products that enable people to learn in new and exciting ways, not just about robotics and computer science, but to apply those to make creative inventions of their own. Our product isn't just the hardware, it's hardware, software, curriculum and learning materials, as well as professional development, ways for teachers to learn how to use this in a classroom. And so we design all of that holistically to make sure that they succeed. Core to our company is maintaining that contact with the classroom so that we know what teachers and students need and that we can work closely together to make sure that our products meet that need. With BirdBrain Technologies, students learn the fundamentals of computer science, of robotics, of engineering design, which enables them to be creators and producers of their own technologies instead of just consumers. People that my company employs are pretty varied in terms of their skills, their experiences, their backgrounds, but what they share is maybe a sense of idealism. When I took this job, I was at home taking care of my daughter, and I was not planning on returning to work. But the enthusiasm and passion and fantastic mission of BirdBrain Technologies drew me in. I've really grown through this job. When I started, I was doing mostly curriculum development. And as we've grown, I've really been able to be more involved in how we develop products and create new things. I found that to be very rewarding. It really is the only place that I want to work. I can't imagine finding another job where I get to pursue what I'm passionate about and really help people in such a concrete way. So we're located in the Uptown neighborhood of Pittsburgh. Uptown is essentially kind of a neglected corridor between the two main hubs of activity in Pittsburgh, which are the downtown core and Oakland, where all of the universities are. Everybody who works here lives within six miles of the office. Many people commute by bus or bike. Almost everybody lives in the city of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has definitely changed a lot. I think a lot of that has been driven by the universities. Uh, there are a lot of startups of those universities that form part of that tech ecosystem. We had the building blocks in the 1980s and 90s in terms of strong academic research institutions that strategically went into areas that were future oriented. That's now bearing fruit. Certainly Pittsburgh has gone through many ups and downs, but I think at this point it's on a massive upswing. Uh, roughly a quarter of our sales are to other countries, and that's been pretty gratifying to see. We've got something like 40 countries that we have shipped to, so our company would be a quarter smaller without any international customers. BirdBrain Technologies has been so successful because we are really committed to the mission of everyone, all students, being able to learn computer science, not just the teachers and students who can afford it. Oh, I'll fix her up. I know the problem. The symbol is a makerspace specifically placed in a low-income community with the goal of enabling everyone to have access to making things. We have a Finch robot loan program. We've reached over a thousand organizations, libraries and schools and after-school programs across the country. We've reached about 200,000 students with that program. Our products were really designed for equity and diversity and to try and spread knowledge of computer science, these fundamental skills that students are going to need in the future, to all students to democratize this education. What it means for BirdBrain Technologies to be an Inner City 100 winner is that it's a recognition that a socially oriented enterprise that's bootstrapped can also be high growth, and it's also a reflection on the Pittsburgh ecosystem and all of the stakeholders, all of the employees who have made this happen.